Today, I bought every seat in a movie theater to speedrun FNAF, but instead of filling it up, I only invited three of my most easily scared friends. Then for which FNAF, I'm speedrunning FNAF 4, which not only has some cool speedrun tricks, but also in my opinion is easily the scariest in the series. This is because to tell where animatronics are, you have to listen to your surroundings and react in the right way every time, otherwise you're gonna die. And because it's so sound focused, the jump scares are much, much worse. But I booted up the game and started out the speedrun. For this video, I'll give you a quick description of the strategy for each night and then let you see my audience's reactions. So for night one, the first two hours we do literally nothing, which really can confused by audience. Why is he waiting? So why are you waiting? I also wish I knew why you just stared into the darkness. <laughs> just waiting. What does he do? Why is he torturing waiting? us? Two hours now staring out that door and we moved. Let's go. But little did they know, this is because every animatronic has a changing AI value, which can go all the way from zero to 20. It starts out at zero this night, so no one will move. And then Chica and Freddy get plus one at 2 a.m. and 3 a.m. And Bonnie gets plus one at 2 a.m. and plus two at 3 a.m. For Bonnie and Chica, they have an AI level out of 20 chance to move every five seconds. But we're not too worried about that. Instead, we're going to stick to our strategy of going to the hallway, to the bed, and to the other hallway. We spend a few seconds listening at the door for breathing, and if there isn't any, we shine the light and move on. But if there is breathing at the door, we need to close it until they walk away. As for Freddy, every four seconds if your flashlight isn't on the bed, he'll add his current AI level to his progress. And if it reaches 80 progress, we die. So not a problem right now, but it'll become more noticeable on the later nights. But that's it for tonight. Time for some reactions. Why doesn't he just close his closet? What's the point of keeping that open? Like, that's just so much creepier. He said, oh, it's RNG. That's what it comes down to if he can do it or not. And I just think, you know, just, just play better. <laughs> play a little better. And I can stay sane. He's there. He's there. I don't think so. All right, now what, what's going on here? Ooh. 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 5 a.m. 5 a.m. 5 a.m. He's so close. He's so close. He's listening. That's why he's sitting there in the dark. I hate jump scares. Why did I agree to do this? <sighs> Alright, we're safe now, guys. Uh... <laughs> jump scare in the cutscene? <laughs> that should be illegal. Now here's a really important minigame, fun with plus trap. In this minigame, plus trap will walk slowly, walk quickly, walk slowly, walk quickly, and finally walk slowly one more time when we want to shine the flashlight. This will catch him in the middle of the room, and doing this successfully will push us forward two hours onto the next night, making it super worth it for speedruns. <gasps> What? What was that? <laughs> so on to night two, and here's a chart for all the AI levels. Basically, everybody goes up a lot with Chica and Bonnie now starting at five, and we actually need to worry about Foxy at this point. Foxy's movement is he runs around the house and sometimes goes in the hallways. But if he's in a hallway and we go to the other, he'll jump in our closet. Then he slowly makes progress to attacking us, going from zero to 10, which we can revert by closing the door. You'll see him a lot later, but back to the reactions for now. I don't know what's gonna appear in the closet, but if it's not Mike Wazowski, I'm gonna be upset. <gasps> Close the door, dude. I hate seeing them move. If this was my house, I'd jump out the window. <gasps> Why is it just there? They're still there. Why aren't you closing the door? Oh, close it, close it. He was a little slow on that. He was. Oh. <gasps> to just cover me, just to do this. You know you're in a really horrible situation where there's like a little demon on your bed and you just don't even care. Like you just, oh, okay, you know, just go back on there. <laughs> just every five seconds. 5 a.m., one more hour, one more hour. Okay, okay. <sighs> two out of five down, let's go! Number two. Let's go. That poster's gonna come to life. <gasps> Someone's in the bear. Game? Yeah, so somehow my game completely glitched out here and froze me at this point. So rip that time save with plus trap. 
Still, the run goes on, and on to night 3. Not too much new stuff for this night, except for the fact that Foxy is insanely active, so this was probably the worst night to not skip 2 hours in, but you'll see how it goes. Close the damn door. Did we just blink? <gasps> oh! God! <laughs> oh. <laughs> I mean, is he still he's in got there? A hook. Yeah, did you see the hook? I'm like crying that scared me so bad. Oh. Bro, get away from that hallway. Oh my God, that was not Mike too. Wazowski. This whole time I was worried about the doors and closet. Bro, he's going from side to it. side. <gasps> Boom! <sighs> that face, that face. Freaks me out. You gotta wait way longer. Wait longer. Why are you taking What in the Captain Hook hand was that? Oh, close it, close it, close it. Close it. He's got the clothes and the door down. Check the closet, check the closet. The door or something like that. Oh my god, I can't do that. You keep that door closed. It's gotta be there. Why is 4 a.m. taking so long? Turn into a plush already. Can you please go to 5? Why is he leaving it like that? Wait, he left the hook guy up. Dude, check the closet, check the closet. Hook. Hook. <gasps> Captain Hook. hook. Close it, close it. Close it. Oh my god. Whew. Let's go! Oh my god. <laughs> Be careful. He's trying to warn him. <laughs> Bro, 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 bro. Dude, how did you even know that was there? Night four, let's go. And our game didn't glitch out this time. Anyways, here's the AI levels for all the animatronics and enjoy the last night before our final boss. I swear to something. Yep. Oh, 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 oh. I hate Captain Hook the most. This kid's got a lot of demons, man. God. Keep it close. I can't do Just keep it close. It's only two hours. Oh, I'm crying slightly. Yes. Yes. I apologize for my scream, but that oh. scared me so bad. Time for the hardest night. Dude, how do you do that every time? That's insane. Okay, stressful as part. Let's go. So finally, on to night five, and it's between us and Fredbear. In this part, it's extremely important to listen closely, since we want to hear if Fredbear runs to the left or right, and then go to that door after waiting a few seconds. Then at the door, we want to shine our light to make sure he's there, before quickly closing it until he moves again. His other move is a laugh where he'll move to our better closet, so we can just check those and get him to move from there. So finally, here's our last night. It's too big. Ooh. I haven't seen that person before. Oh my gosh. What? This is too much. Was that? Dude, that was only one hour. He's not making it. Check the closet, check the closet. Oh, he's right there. Dang, he was quick. He's right there. He's on the right. I'm going. Ooh. Ooh. Who was that? That wasn't Closet Bear. Where's he at? Where's he at? Where's he at? Yep, yep, yep. You heard him. You heard him too. Is that the bite of 87? All right, subscribe if you enjoyed. Bye.